What is going on guys? We are back for lesson 3 slash challenge 3 of the Roblox Creators Challenge. So let's knock this one out, shall we? Alright, so we're going to write the story now. So after the player answers all the questions, they'll get to see their answers combined with the story. Story will also be stored in a variable using strings and then be combined with the strings holding the player's answers. So let's code the first string. So make sure the place has to stop done. Go back to the script by clicking on the story manager script tab above the game editor. So beneath where you type that question, create a new variable named story. Make sure the variable name is lowercase. All right, local story. To find the first string, go back to the original story, circle highlight everything before the first placeholder. If your variable happens to be in the middle of the sentence, no problem, the rest can be added later. All right, so going back to our story here. All we need to do is just copy and paste this with the space, by the way. Um, so let's copy that and we're going to go back to studio. I'm going to reopen up the script here and we're just going to type local story is equal to and we want to do the quotes because remember this is a string. All right. Once upon a time, there's a dude named and then with the space and there we go. Cool. Uh, all right, the code will only show what you tell it to, so include a space at the end so the strings don't run together. That is why you include this space. So, adding to the story. Combine the story and the answer. Next, the first string of the story needs to be combined with the player's answer. Combining things together is called concatenation. To combine two strings, use the double periods. So, on the same line of story, variable type dot dot still in the same line type the name of the variable holding together the player's answer name one all right so let's go back and do that really fast so just a double period and then name one all right so write the story and play test not that the story is tight it needs to be shown to players under the second dash line find story maker write between the parentheses, type the variable story. This tells the program to write the story to the game. Make sure that you've typed story in the line story maker write story in the capitalization ex exactly like the code box. Without the sub, the story won't appear when you play test. Play test the game, you should see the two strings combined together. All right, so let's do that really fast. So, write story all right so we're just gonna go to play and we're gonna go to the storybook and we're gonna type our answer Luigi once upon a time there's a dude named Luigi all right boom so we're looking good so far looking good so far so let's go back and we do have this combined together. Perfect. So finish your sentence, add more words or punctuation in the sentence, add another string on the same line, add another dot dot, add another string containing the rest of the sentence or just punctuation. Don't forget to add an extra space at the end of the sentence. All right, so we can just add the rest of the story so we're just gonna copy this over put that to the side and we're gonna do the dot dot again and we're gonna paste it and make sure you put this between the quotes all right so we have that boom all right we're almost done here let's go add a second question so to ask a second question, create a new question and keep adding the same variable holding the story. Decide what word to delete from the second sentence in the story. So we can actually honestly just cre delete creator's challenge here. And then we, were, we can replace that with whatever we would like. So 
All right. Beneath the first variable, create a new variable to act as a placeholder. So name one, food one. Um, let's go back in here. Do local. We'll do we'll do event one because the creator's challenge is an event after all, and we can replace it with whatever other event or whatever else we want. So. Right, we got that. Remember, variable name should be lowercase, and they can't include spaces in the name. So we're gonna use the story maker get input again, and we're gonna ask a, another question. And then we're gonna also use the concatenation again. Concatenate. We'll also be concatenating um, using the double periods again. All right, so we got to use the story maker get input again and then add to our story variable. So we can just do story maker get input and then oh, oops. we'll do what is your favorite event. Question mark. All right. And then we got concatenate again. I like to make videos on YouTube. He also enjoys coding for the creator challenge, so we'll copy that. We got our period here. Double period to concatenate again. Event one goes here. Oh, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not at all how the story goes. Okay. We're going to go back here. All right. So we finished typing that up. And then we're gonna replace uh, creators challenge for the gonna add our space concatenate event one concatenate and period. All right, almost runs off. Uh, almost runs off our window there. All right, so that should be good. We're going to go to finishing this story. Um, we can add more lines, add more concatenations, play test the game every time you add a new set of variables and strings. You can use variables more than once. And then you can add line breaks by typing in backslash n. Is that the backslash? Yeah. All right, with one line break. The two line breaks. All right, so let's play test what we have. We're gonna go over here. What's your favorite YouTuber? Favorite event on Roblox? Creators. I can't type. Creators challenge. I'm gonna submit that. Once upon a time, there's a dude named Luigi who liked to make videos on YouTube. He also enjoys coding for the creator's challenge. Nice. All right, cool. I'll be showing you guys how to use a variable more than once, add some new line breaks, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna turn on word wrap though. I just turned on text wrap so we can see all of this in one area without having to scroll over so we'll just use this spot right here to put in the other variable just for proof of concept here so we will oh i'm just gonna break this all right just we're gonna add the concatenate and in between that we're gonna add name one and i'm just gonna tab that over just to make it look clean all right, add space there. So that we can use multiple variables here. We can also add the new line as well by just typing in backslash n. And then this also messed up my... So let's test it, shall we? To play. And we're gonna go to the story here. Creators challenge. 
-hmm. Once upon a time, there was a dude named Luigi who liked to make videos on YouTube. Luigi also enjoys coding for the Creators Challenge. So I definitely forgot a space. So let's fix that really fast. There. And we can add a double new line. Actually, we'll just do it like that. And then we go out to play again. And then I'll show you, it will give you the extra line as well. So again, Luigi, creators challenge. Once upon a time, there's a dude named Luigi who liked to make videos on YouTube. So see the line break right there? Luigi also enjoys coding for the creators challenge. Boom. All right. So let's go back. And now let's do the third challenge. All right, so let's hop right into challenge three. Variables can be combined with strings. That is true. More than two strings can't be com combined together. That is false. To combine two strings together, what should be typed between them? The double periods. And there we go. We got our third badge and we just completed the creator's challenge. If you guys were following along and you were following the tutorial, give yourself Give some some applause. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the Roblox Creators Challenge slash playthrough, kind of. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. And if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button for some more awesome Roblox content. And if you'd like to see some tutorials in the future, leave your comments below and let me know what you would like to see. Because I would love to make some tutorials. Anyways, I will be seeing you guys in the next video.